Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of rigid body simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's select this camera and light in the scene, let's delete them. Now select this default cube, press S, X and increase the scaling in X axis. So I think this much is fine. Now apply the scaling, so go to this object, apply, apply scale. Now press 1 for front view. Select this object G, Z and hold control key and move it upward so that it stands on this grid here. Now let's apply bevel modifier. So come to this modifier options, add modifier and add bevel modifier. So we got bevel right. Let's apply that bevel also. Now duplicate it by pressing shift D, Y and place it here. So now select both the objects here. Press one for front view. Let's move closer, shift D, press Z and move it along the Z axis and just place this above to this stack. So now press 7 for top view. Now select this rotation tool, hold control key and rotate this in 5 degree and place it here like this. Okay, so we got this stack right. Now select these four objects. Again, press one on the keyboard for front view. Now let's zoom it here. Now shift D, Z and just place this above this object. Okay, so I think this is fine. Now we can repeat the action. So shift R and we can paste these objects like this. So I think this much of height is fine. So we got our stack ready. Now select any of the object here. Select any of the object. Come to this physics property. Add rigid body. So type let it be active and shape. I will change this to box. And now if I play this, you can see that object is falling down. Now we need to copy the same property to rest of the stacks. So now being selected that object, hold shift key and box select rest of the objects here. Now come to this object, rigid body, copy from active. So now if I play this, you can see all the objects are falling down. So let's select any of the object now. Scroll down, come to this dynamics and enable this deactivation option. Expand this option once again. Now enable this start deactivation. Now we need to copy the same property to rest of the stacks also. So now hold shift key and box select rest of the objects. Go to this object, rigid body and copy from active. So now if I play this, you can see the objects are staying in its position. Nice. So now let's add a ground plane here. So go to this add mesh select a plane, press S and increase the scaling. So I think this much is fine. So for this plane also, we need to apply rigid body. So select the plane, apply rigid body and type change it to passive and friction I will increase it here. So now let's add UV sphere in order to make that object collide with the stacks. So go to this add mesh select UV sphere, press S and increase the scaling. So I think this much is fine. Press 7 for top view and let's place this here at the center, P at this height. So let's apply scaling first. So select the sphere, go to this object, apply, apply scale. Now being selected this UV sphere, come to this physics property, apply rigid body, type let it be active. So here shape, I will change this to sphere since this is in sphere shape and increase the friction. Now if I play this, so this is not going through the stacks. So we need to increase the mass of this UV sphere. So select the UV sphere, scroll up and increase the mass here. So I increase this to 500 kg and now let's play this once again. Okay, now you can see we got our rigid body physics done properly here. So if you want to increase the stack height, we can do that. So press one for front view. So I will select all these objects once again. First of all, let me place this sphere above. And now let's select all these objects once again. Now zoom close, press shift D, Z and let's place the stacks here. So I think now the height of the stack is increased. So now if I play this, we will get our rigid body simulation done properly. Nice. So in this way, we can create this kind of videos in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.